Hello dear students, today we will be learning about the electric field due to a system of point charges. So what we have to do here, we have to consider an xy plane and let me consider a test charge q0 to be at a distance of r vector from the origin. So this is at a distance of r vector from the origin. Similarly, let me consider another charge q1 at a vector distance r1 vector from the origin. Similarly again I can assume another charge that is q2 to be at a vector distance r2 from the origin. So here q0 is the test charge. So we know that since the test charge is vanishingly small, it will experience a force both due to the charge q1 and charge q2. So we can assume that now who gives the force? The electric field gives the force. So we have to find the electric field on Q0 due to Q1 and electric field again on Q0 due to Q2. Then we have to calculate the net electric field acting on Q0 because of both the electric field E1 produced by Q1 and electric field E2 produced by Q2. So now let us recapitulate what was the formula we had learned for the electric field at a point due to a charge it was E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. So we can write here consider a test charge Q naught in an xy plane. Now from the diagram we know that the electric field on Q0 due to Q1. Now this can be given as E1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 by now let me take one thing uh, I can assume that here this Q0 is at a point P so I can write here it's Q1 by R1 P square that means R square 1 P now we can put it this in the vector form so this can be written as E1 vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 by r 1 p square r 1 p unit vector similarly now we can calculate the electric field on q0 due to q2 so I can write here now electric field on Q0 due to Q2. So this can be E2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by R2P square. Now again in the vector form I can write here E2 vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by R2P square and R2 cap. Now we can find the net electric field acting on Q0 due to both these charges. So now you can see here 
this the electric field from here will act in this direction so this can be called as e2 here similarly the direction of the electric field between q1 and q0 will be in this direction so this will be e1 vector now to find the resultant of both this e2 and e1 this will act in this direction so join this two and here the net resultant will be e1 vector plus e2 vector now we can take the net electric field so net electric field is given by e is equal to e1 plus e2 that means i can put in the vector notation form so e vector is equal to e1 vector plus e2 vector so this can be again written by substituting the values of e1 vector and e2 vector so it can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 by r 1p square r 1p cap plus q2 by r 2p square r 2p cap so hope you have understood this 